to all. The, uh, this question pertains to the pending Google headquarters in San Jose. The Google village may or may not happen at this point. We really don't know. But if it does, it's going to present an interesting set of both challenges and opportunities. It will affect housing costs and availability, traffic patterns, and transit needs, while also creating some remarkable opportunities for those individuals and businesses in the position to provide services to the new campus and its employees. As a city council member, you will be in a position to advocate strategies that will shape this project, with the hope being to achieve the greatest benefit for our community while incurring the least amount of harm. In light of this, what is your position on the pending Google headquarters in San Jose? Olivia. I don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon. I've actually, um, in my profession, have had some conversations with some people and um, Unfortunately, because it, they, the financiers have backed out, I don't believe that they have the ability to move on the project anytime soon. And because of that, we're going to be sitting on open land for a long time, uh, which I think is unfortunate because if they don't build it, we're going to end up with a vacant land there for a very long time and an eyesore. And all the community benefits that we all fought for are gone. And so I believe that we have to start all over from scratch again. Um, and it creates an opportunity as well, like you said, um, for the next council member and the next mayor and all the elected officials and all the community members to negotiate with Google. However, with an advantage, because now we know what they're willing to give us and we also know what the neighborhoods can ask for and build upon. Um, and I think we actually have a leg up in that sense because we know that they're coming in with an interest and they've already purchased the land. Um, I'm interested in how we can collaborate uh, because we have a longer timeline now. Uh, I'd like to be able to start to move with the community members now and see how we can start to open up the conversations just as a community member. Um, Cause I think it's interesting how a lot of people don't like the eyesore that we have right now. And honestly, if we don't build it, um, what will come is what my concern is. Um, I propose sports district in that area where Google is proposed to be, because if it is not going to go forward, we're going to need a very big ambitious plan for that area of town, because right now it is so quiet and abandoned. So that is something I would push for and providing incentives to businesses to come into that neighborhood and create a sports entertainment themed neighborhood. I think that would really benefit the culture and the economy of San Jose. In my conversations with the Google on the council, I would ask them two things. Can you go faster and can we hold you accountable? That will be a huge priority for me because they promised $150 million in community benefits. Community benefits that the community gets to decide how they're spent. And we need that money to help move our city forward. And so we've got to hold Google accountable for their promises. And that would be part of my conversation with them. How can you move forward quickly? And how can you maintain the promises that you made to the community? Because we built a lot of support through a very good community engagement process that Google did. And we can't let that go to waste. We've got to continue to move this project forward in our conversations with Google. So I have to assume professional competence, right? So I understand that our city, our staff, Right. Our council members had a lot of information when this decision was coming up. So I'm going to assume professional confidence that they made the best decision for the city of San Jose with the information they have. And I fully intend to continue that plan. An ounce of action is also worth a ton of analysis. We're moving in a direction. Yes. Has Google slowed their pace? Yes. Has it frustrated the community? Yes. Are we scared that they might pull out? Yes. But I agree with Alex. 
the model is this, they have committed and they will, and they will continue. I think that we have to have a little bit more patience with them. And I understand the model itself is frustrating, but I do believe that we're on the right path. I believe with what our council has done previously, and I'm encouraging the same growth and the same development. And then we'll continue to engage. Let's run towards the problem. Let's continue to engage Google. Let's find new ways and innovative ways to incentivize uh, them to come and move a little bit faster through that process. And then I think really what I'm, what I'm understanding, and I hear a lot of rumors, right, as every one of the candidates does as we're cruising around the town, is opportunity for community engagement. Let's, have, let's say, hey, why don't we get together as District 6 and say, from our council, this is what we know right now, real time. And then we push that to you and to the, to the district itself and say, this is what I know, I don't know. And you can ask a million questions, but I don't know the answer to it because this is all I know right now. Maybe what that is is a two-way communication suite. That's what I hope to provide. And sometimes I just don't know the answer. And I think this is a perfect model. I think we have to wait, but I do trust the decisions the city council members made previously. Thanks. So this is another good example of what life is like in a post-COVID world, right? As we figure out how we're going to work, are we going to go to an office? Are we going to build big, big campuses? Are we going to try to consolidate a lot of employees into one location? Um, you know, Google's a huge company. In the development world, the most important thing you need is control of the land. And the relationship that Google has created with the community by going through uh, thousands of hours of community and uh, private time with, with, um, with Google should be an invaluable um, uh, result at some point. I think that the downtown council member, D3, the sitting council member, D6, and the mayor you know, that's really where the bulk of the land is. Really needs to stay really connected to Google. As the owner, they have the ability to sell, but we need to keep them responsible to the promises made. Maybe not to the same level of 150 millions of economic benefit, because whoever they sell to may be a different program. But we've laid the groundwork for what this community's expectations are of that massive area of land. The Sharks want to stay in San Jose. Some of that land is valuable to how they may want to grow. Other interests that they have to reinvest in San Jose. So having control of that land, and even though it's not ours, but having a, that relationship with Google and having control of that land offers us many opportunities moving forward.